Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Tonight we'll celebrate our daily Vespers, commemorating the Holy Fathers of the Second Ecumenical Council and the martyr Basiliscus of Comana. And so we're glad that you joined us, and Matushka Cindy is back again with us tonight. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You cover it with the deep as with a garment, the waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you appoint for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have a habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord awarded abundantly the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships of Leviathan, which you formed your sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food and you seize them. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. <coughs> May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those desiring to enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan deacon, look, and tenants of the diocese of New England, for the honorable priest of the diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seas and 
fruitful weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you. To you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise. Christos was crescent. Christos anesti. Christ is risen. Lifting up my hands in evening sacrifice. and I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, shall mark the iniquities, Lord, who could stand, but there is forgiveness with you. Behold the Messiah, Jesus, whose coming Moses foretold in the law. In his compassion he has appeared on earth. He spoke with me as a man by the well. He is truly the anointed one who has come into the world. So the Samaritan woman told the people of Sychar. For your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. From the mouth of the joyful woman, the whole town heard the news of sweet flowing water. She hurried to lead them to the well. There they found the river of life, the fountain of immortality, who refreshes our souls. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch of Israel, hope on the Lord. When the townspeople saw the fountain, who came in the likeness of men, they cried to the woman, It is no longer because of your words that we believe. Now we really know he is the eternal salvation and atonement for the world. But with the Lord there is mercy, with him is plenty, is redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Reigning like a king, you receive the kingdom that abides forever. O glorious Basiliscus, you stand before the king of hosts, rejoicing with all the armies of the angels. Together with them, O Blessed One, you chant divine in him peacelessly, radiantly illumined by splendor and divine communion. <clears throat> praise the Lord, O nations, praise him, all peoples. When you walk the path of martyrdom, rejoicing, O all praised one, they pierced your feet with nails and fastened them. Yet with them you trampled on the head of the enemy, utterly crushing it, O glorious one. And you trod the narrow path with might, showing yourself to the master as a conqueror. 
for his mercy is confirmed in us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Your prayer first caused a barren tree to put forth fruit, and a spring to gush with living water. By the fountain of your blood the earth was sanctified, and the air was hallowed by the passage of your soul. O truly wealthy one, therefore with faith, O Basiliscus, we celebrate your holy and most festive day, on which you lawfully struggled. In the sixth stone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Jesus met the Samaritan woman by Jacob's well. He wraps the earth in clouds, yet he asks for water from her. O oh, wonder he who rides on the cherubim speaks with an adulterous woman. He who suspended the earth on the waters asks for a drink. He who causes the lakes and springs to overflow is weary with thirst. Truly he desires to set the woman free from the enemy snares. He drowns her sins in the waters of life, for he alone is a compassionate lover. Amen. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, Heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore, O Let us attend the evening prokeem and honors in the sixth stone. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the hills from where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. 
To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening <clears throat> prayer to the Lord. Lord, have Lord, have mercy. mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For you, o Lord, for you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you. O Lord our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies, for blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. So, love, love. Having your cross as our help at all times, O Christ, we easily break the snares of the enemy. To you, O Lord, I lift up mine eyes, you who are found in the heavens. <clears throat> Behold, as the eyes of a servant look to the hand of the master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he have mercy on us. By ascending the cross, O Lord, you are no their ancestral curse. By descending to hell, you free the eternal prisoners. Granting incorruption to the human race. Therefore, in songs we glorify your life creating and saving resurrection. <clears throat> have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Too long our soul has been sated with the scorn of those who are teased, the contempt of the proud. O martyrs of the Lord, living sacrifices and reasonable offerings, perfect incense burned to God, sheep that know God and are known by Him, into whose fold the wolves cannot break. Pray that with you we may be led to rest beside the still waters. In the sixth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord thus spoke to the Samaritan woman, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is that asked you, give me water to drink. You would have asked him, and he would give you living water, that you may never thirst again. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. 
Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. When the women disciples of the Lord learn from the angel the joyous message of your resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse and belatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Most glorious are you, O Christ our God. You have established the Holy Fathers as lights on the earth. Through them you have guided us to the true faith. O greatly compassionate one, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, oh, glorious Saint, through your steadfastness in contest, you were offered as a royal sacrifice to the King of the ages, the prize bestowing God. O oh, Basiliscus, you were a valiant soldier for the truth, Destroying all error and praying to Christ our God for all. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the cross of your Son, O you who are blessed by God, all the deception of idols was destroyed and the strength of demons trampled underfoot. Therefore, as is meet we the faithful, always sing, bless, and magnify you, confessing you to be truly Theotokos. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Tika, more companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the minded Archpriest Nicholas, the Archpriest Paul, Matryoshka, Nina, the servants of God, Nicholas, Joseph, Boris, Alan, Jasmine, Stephen, George, Annabelle, and Huda, and who hear and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, 
for those suffering for their Orthodox faith, for all those lying on a bed of sickness in need of healing, especially the priests James, Montushkin, Natasha, Anastasia, and the Queen of Servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, James, and John, those known to be suffering from the coronavirus, Stephen, Nona, Deborah, Elizabeth, Gabriel, Olga, Carol, Anne, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Arcady, and Michael, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present with us who are great, await your great and rich mercy. <clears throat> Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our crying, repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians and nurses, all the caregivers, <clears throat> the chaplains ministering to them, and the military reserve supporting them. We pray for those who are developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Father bless. Christ our God the existing is blessed always. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O oh God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. And upon those in the tombs bestowing my Christos was crece, is met me, is met you smell for from Jesus, she bought a bed, she bought a robot. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling on death by death. And upon those in the tombs be sowing life. May he who is risen from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life creating cross of our holy glorious and laudable apostles, of the holy fathers of the second ecumenical council, together with the martyr Vasculiscus, who of Commander, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Almasiakon. Akinkon. Christos was Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. Christ is risen, risen from, from the, the dead, dead, trampling down death by death. And upon us in the tomb be so we lie. 
Christos vos crece, isme dismergius me poprom, Iisus și mă rogă și votar o bag. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing mine. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Well, please join us tomorrow evening for Daily Vespers uh, as we prepare to uh, begin the celebration for the already sixth uh, weekend of Pascha. So God bless and be with you uh, during the coming days. And also, again, to remember the mitered Archpriest Nicholas, uh, whose funeral services will be coming up on Saturday, as well as the Archpriest Paul, Matush Kanina, newly departed servants, longtime, lifelong servants of the church. God bless and be with you. And unto us he has given eternal life. Let us worship his resurrection on the third day.